Hello everyone, I am Srimanti and I am currently working as an ML engineer. Um, I remember when I was first starting out, I always saw that all the videos and all the blogs, they suggested to use Jupyter Notebook. And I always found it very difficult to use Jupyter Notebook. And like almost always Jupyter Notebooks are the way to go. And it is true. Um, any kind of algorithms you want to experiment with, you want to train any kind of algorithm, or you just want to analyze some data and understand how things are working. You do not want to execute the script again and again in VS Code, the entire script. You want to save the variables and you want to experiment with them in different other algorithms again and again for comparison and so on. So that is why today in this video, I'll be talking about how you can um, download and use Jupyter Notebook in just five steps. So let's start the timer. I'll talk about it in less than two minutes. First, I'll talk about how you can do that in macOS. Okay, so the timer has started. Let's go. First, you need to search online how to install Brew. Go to the official website and you will see this and then copy this command. Now go to terminal and go inside a preferred folder and then paste this command. This will ask for your password, put in your password and this will install Homebrew. I already have Brew installed, so it will not give me, it will not install it again. But if you're installing it for the first time, then you will have to add Brew to your path. So you will see two commands at the end of this message earlier. And these will be the two commands in case you don't see them. And then you can copy these out and um, run it in your terminal to add brew to your path. Now the next thing that comes is install Python. So I already have it installed, so it will not install it again. But in your case, it will install it if you're doing it for the first time. Next thing comes is making a directory. Let's make a directory for our purposes where you want to basically do this project. Um, then what you'll do is make a virtual environment. This is very important because this will help you to keep your global installation and your local installation separate. So now what you'll do is bin slash activate. Now you've gone inside your virtual environment here, whatever installations that you do, there are a lot of version control problems all the time. So in order to avoid them, keep your global and local installations, keep the installations for every folder, every project separate inside a different virtual environment. Then you will never face this problem ever. Next comes, just simply do Jupyter install. So it'll install Jupyter. I already have it installed, but in your case, if you're doing it for the first time, it'll install it. Now, simple thing, just do Jupyter Notebook in your terminal and then you have your Jupyter Notebook running. Yeah, there you go. You have your Jupyter Notebook running. Just, yeah, here. Okay, now comes the Jupyter installation for Windows. First, you will need to download Python. If you don't have Python already installed, you will download it here. Go to the official website, download whatever version suits you. Always better to download the latest stable version and then go through all the um, commands. Always check in the thing that says add Python to your path. That's very important. You can go to like make a directory where you want to store this. Let's say it's tutorial. Then go inside tutorial. Great. Now comes uh, make the, that I said earlier, you need to make the virtual environment. It's very important to have a virtual environment because this will keep your local and global installation separate. Um, there are often many virtual control problems that one faces when you are like uh, working with different projects. So it's best to do every project in a separate virtual environment um, to prevent any kind of problems in the future. Okay, so now um, as this is done, often, the next thing that you need to do is basically um, dot slash scripts slash um, activate. This will activate your um, the virtual environment that you have. Now there's one thing that I was facing earlier. Sometimes people face that since I've already done it before. So that is why I'm not facing it now. You need to do this one. Basically, you will get an unrest you will get a restricted access when you try to run a script on this system. So you can do this and then 
um, this will basically run this command and this will basically give unrestricted access to the user who is using the um, project currently. There's one more thing here. If you do not have pip installed, then you can do this to install pip. I already have pip installed, so I think it will just update that. But if you do not have it installed, then this is the easiest way to install pip. And as soon as you have pip installed, then the next step that you can do is basically install Jupyter, pip install Jupyter. Yeah, so I have this Jupyter Notebook installed now. Simply do Jupyter Notebook. And this will start the Jupyter Notebook here. And you can simply write a new function, write a new notebook. Okay, I think that's all for today. Stay tuned for next videos.